morning students in the last class we have discussed some properties of the d block with the with that i have completed the the d block elements now i will move for next one f block elements f block elements f block elements are also called as inner transition elements f block elements are also called as inner transition elements in this f block elements f elements are being completely filled in the n minus 2 f orbitals electrons are being filled in the n minus 2 f orbitals this n minus 2 f orbitals are called as pen anti penultimate penultimate anti penultimate Because of rare availability of 
these lanthanides have availability of these elements these are also called as rare earth rare earth elements because of rare availability of these elements these are also called as rare earth elements now coming for the next part electronic configuration of lanthanides so here electron in the electronic configuration 6s2 common configuration is observed in all the lanthanides starting from cerium to lutetium so we are we are in the m plus 3 that is most stable oxidation state we are filling the electrons most stable oxidation state we are filling the electrons in the 4f raised to n configuration where n is from 1 to 14 okay so here in the lanthanides common oxidation state is or common electronic configuration is 6h2 so that m plus 3 most stable oxidation states are having the configurations 4f raised to n okay where n is starting from 1 to 14 so here 4f and 5d orbitals energies are similar or very close by so that it is difficult to decide whether the electron will enter the 4f orbital or it will enter the 5d orbital okay because of that and with the extra stability of 4f raised to 7 and f raised to 14 that is half filled and fully filled f orbitals the some electronic configurations will be uncommon that is uh, usually it will be extraordinary or ex uh, anomalous than the regular configuration now i will give you the electronic configuration of lanthanides i will give you the electronic configuration of lanthanides okay just note it down symbol name then atomic number before the symbol i will write the another column that is atomic number atomic number then symbol then name then electronic configuration so that is elect common electronic configuration of these f block elements is given by xenon is taken as the noble gas 4f 1 to 14 5d 1 to 10 and 6s 2 so general configuration electronic configuration of 4f orbitals or lanthanides is given by the formula xenon 4f 1 to 14 5d 1 to 10 and 6s 2 okay so here so the common electronic configuration then in the next column i will give you the configuration of m plus 3 ion electronic configuration of m plus 3 ion so first element starting with 58 cerium cerium so here or i will start with lanthanum 57 atomic number 57 lanthanum lanthanum in that same xc 5d1 6s2 okay and in the m3 4f raised to 0 now next is 58 58 cerium cerium 5 4f1 5d1 6s2 is the configuration in the common oxidation state 4f1 is the configuration then 59 pseudodymium 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 6s 4f3 6s 2 4f2 is the plus 3 oxidation state so i will make the name column somewhat in b okay so 
symbol. Now next to six three. Neodymium. 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 Four F four. Four F four. Six S two. Four F three is the plus three oxidation state. Sixty one. Promethium. 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 So this promethium is the synthetic man-made. Promethium is the synthetic man-made radioactive. Synthetic man-made radioactive element which is existing in the whole lanthanide series. Okay, promethium. Four F five, six S two. So four F four. Now sixty two. Sm samarium samarium four F six. Six S two, four and five. Then sixty three. Europium, europium. Four F seven. Six S two, four F six. Then sixty four. Gadolinium, 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 gadolinium. Four F seven, five D one, six S two. Okay. Four F seven, then sixty five. Dysprosium, dysprosium. Four F ten, four F ten. I'm sorry. Is not this potassium sixty five is terbium Tb terbium four F nine four F nine six S two four F eight okay next to sixty six sixty six this potassium this potassium. Four F ten, six S two, four F nine. Okay, the next element I will write here. Next element I will write here. Seven, holmium, holmium. Four F eleven, six S two, four F ten is the F M three configuration. Then sixty eight, erbium, erbium, erbium. Four F twelve, six S two, four F eleven. Is the configuration sixty nine tulium tulium four F thirteen six S two four F twelve is the configuration of F plus three seventy ytterbium ytterbium four F fourteen four F fourteen Two and four F thirty is the configuration. Seventy one lutetium, lutetium. Four F fourteen, five D one, six S two. Four F fourteen is the configuration of M plus three ions. Okay. Now next. We will move for atomic and ionic sides of lanthanides. So next is atomic radii, atomic and ionic radii of lanthanides. It is important one. In this 
concept I will give the lanthanide contraction, atomic and ionic radii of F block or lanthanides. So that is, so it is important can be asked in two months. Okay, lanthanide contraction. What is lanthanide contraction? I will just tell you. Then here there is a graph. So atomic number and radial atomic radial in pico meters. Okay. So the graph will be lanthanum plus three. This is lutetium plus three, and this is lanthanum plus three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So here in the variation of atomic radii, what is lanthanide contraction? I will tell you. So how the variation of atomic radii takes place from lanthanum, that is lanthanum plus three, to lutetium, lutetium plus three iron, ionic radii or atomic radii goes on. Decrease. Okay. So here, what is the reason for the decrease in the de gradual decrease in the atomic radii of lanthanides? So see here, if we increase the atomic number, okay, with the increase of atomic, with the increase of atomic number, Z, there is nuclear charge. That is nuclear charge means. Attraction force between nucleus and outermost electron goes on increase. Okay, so that so here shielding of one F electron by the other is taking place. But as the F electrons are in the n minus two F orbitals, that is they are present in the anti penultimate shells. So here shielding of shielding of One F electron by the other shielding of one F electron by the other is poor, or we say that there is weak shielding effect taking place in the F orbitals compared to D orbitals because in the D orbitals the orbitals are arranged peripheral, okay, away from the peripheral effect is more. So here in these F electrons, F orbitals are just dumped deep inside, buried deep inside the orbitals. The shielding of one F electron by the other is very poor, or there is imperfect shielding effect of one F electron by the other take place. So that with the shielding effect poor, we say that effective nuclear charge goes on increase. So thereby there is decrease in the atomic radii, or atomic radii goes on decreasing. So here this is the reason for the variation of atomic radii. Now what is lanthanide contraction? See here, lanthanum to lutetium, we are filling fourteen elements are successively filled. Fourteen elements are successively filled with after lanthanum. Okay, and because of because of weak shielding effect, weak shielding of F electrons. Because of weak shielding of F electrons by fourteen elements and cumulative effect. Cumulative that is addition effect. Effect of fourteen elements. There is gradual decrease in the gradual decrease in the atomic radii take place. Gradual decrease in the atomic radii take place, and that is called as lanthanide contraction. Okay, so. Forty elements are successively filled after lanthanum, and because of weak shielding of F electrons, cumulative effect of fourteen small changes, fourteen changes, 
so gradual decrease in the atomic radius take place and this is called as lanthanide contraction okay definition for lanthanide contraction is this one now we will see what are the consequences of lanthanide contraction okay next you will be asked a question on two marks what is lanthanide contraction what are its consequences like that okay so here next one is consequences of consequences of consequences of this is also important can be asked in two marks lanthanide contraction consequences of lanthanide contraction so here because of lanthanide contraction there will be decrease in the atomic radii take place so that it will affect on the atomic radii first point consequences of lanthanide contraction first point atomic radii atomic radii of third series third series is similar to similar to second series that is third series d series is similar to second series say for example zirconium is the element from second series okay it has got the atomic radius 160 picometer whereas hafnium is the element from third series it has got the atomic radius 159 picometers okay so that with the lanthanide contraction we have similar atomic radii that is atomic radii of third d series is similar to this third d series is taken as 5d and second series is taken as 4d okay the atomic radii of 4d and 5d series are almost similar this is the first point in the consequences of lanthanide contraction second point second point because of because of limited availability because of limited availability of elements because of limited availability of elements it is difficult to separate difficult to separate lanthanides it is difficult to separate lanthanides in the pure state okay in the pure state that means it is very difficult to identify the lanthanides in the pure state this is the contraction lanthanide contraction and its consequences now let us move for next concept that is actinoids 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 okay actinoids so this actinoids are also called as actinones 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 or actinides actinides okay so here these are second f or second inner transition second inner transition elements second inner transition elements or they are generally called by the name radioactive radioactive elements because most of the elements in the actinoids are generally radioactive in nature they may be either man made or naturally occurring so in the 14 elements most that means 11 elements are radioactive in nature okay so these actinoids are also called as actinoids are also called as 5f 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 block elements 5f block elements where the 5f orbitals are progressively filled from actinium because the actinium is resembling the actinoids and it is having the similar properties of actinoids the study of actinium is included in the actinoids itself okay 
So here in the actinides, radioactive elements, thorium, thorium, proactinium, and uranium are the naturally occurring radioactive elements. And another eleven elements are transuranium elements. Transuranium is artificially prepared by the man. Okay. Now let us go for electronic configuration of actinides. Electronic configuration of actinides. Let us move for electronic configuration of actinides. So in the electronic configuration, in the electronic configuration, red on, red on. Then six D one to ten seven S two is the configuration in the FIF orbitals. Okay. So here, here also the same principle applies with the extra stability of half filled and full filled orbitals. Orbitals may have F seven and F fourteen elements as here. Pi F one to fourteen half filled. Being successively filled. So here make the columns atomic number, atomic number, symbol, then name of the element, name I will give large space, then electronic configuration. Okay. So here radon is common with the radon. I will write the configuration. Eighty-nine actinium. 89 actinium 6d1 7s2 then 90 thorium thorium radon 6d2 7s2 next 91 proactinium proactinium 5f2 Pf two six d one seven s two ninety two uranium ninety two uranium same pf three six d one seven s two then ninety three np neptunium neptunium pf four Six D one seven S two. Next ninety four plutonium 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 five F five. I'm sorry, it is five F six seven S two. Next ninety five americium americium. Five F seven, seven S two, then ninety six, curium, curium. Five F seven, six D one, seven S two, ninety seven, ber berkelium, B K, berkelium. Berkelium, five of nine, five of nine, seven s two. Next up, ninety eight, C F, Californium, Californium, five of ten, seven s two. Next up, next up. Ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Einsteinium, yes, Einsteinium, Einsteinium. Five of eleven, seven s two hundred, hundred fm. That is fermium, fermium. Five of twelve. Five F two seven S two, then hundred one mandelium, mandelium, 
or fe or molybdenum or platinum is used in the manufacture of haber's process ammonia then v2o5 in the contact process of sulfuric acid then pdcl to wakers process nitcl4 and arcl3 thrice so mixture is wigler nutta catalyst in the polymerization of ethene then pd bar BASO4 is the Lindler catalyst like that. Is all the catalyst that is catalytic properties are in one thing. All catalysts are in the name mark. Next, next use thorium, thorium, uranium, and proactinium are used in nuclear fuel. Thorium. Proactinium and uranium are used in nuclear fuel in atomic reactors. In atomic reactors, then some three or four are because of the sensitive property of AgBr. Because of the sensitive light sensitive property of AgBr. Because of next use. Because of light sensitive property of light sensitive property of agbr it is used in it is used in photographic photographic industry because of light sensitive properties of agbr it is used in photographic industry okay then thorium thorium compound that is tro2 tho2 is used in in the candlescent in the candlescent in the candlescent as metals in candlescent as metals okay then uranium another use uranium in medicines uranium is used in medicines chemical and glass industry then textile then ceramic industry radioactive uranium is used in medicines chemical and glass industry textile and ceramic industry lastly plutonium is used in atomic weapons plutonium used in atomic weapons okay with this information i will end of my today's class as yes, thank you